Hey guys, it's Morgan and today I'm doing a huge book haul. I have over 50 books to show you. Most of them are from August and September. I think maybe four or five are from July, but I decided to put those in here. Um, and I'm doing them in this location because I have so many books and they didn't fit on my desk, so I'm doing it at the end of my bed. I actually might film from here from now on because it's more focused on the bookshelves behind me instead of basically my whole room but anyway let's get started I'm super excited so the first book is my, from my September uppercase subscription and I, I filmed that so I will link that down below but the book I got is Warcross by Marie Lu this was super exciting uh, I really like her legend series and I'd heard a lot about this book for the past few months I entered a, a giveaway to win this book I don't think I want it but anyway um, it was my first subscription box and this was the book I got and it was so awesome I was so excited and it's just so pretty and it's a rainbowy and shiny and the actual book cover is whoa the actual book cover is like aqua and then the writing is silver it's so pretty but so this book is about a girl who is a bounty hunter in this virtual reality game um, she hunts for people who gamble illegally and she doesn't make a whole lot of money doing this she has kind of a hard time with money and so she ends up stealing something and she gets caught and is uh, contacted by the game creator and she ends up having to play in these games and so I'm really excited to read this I can't wait the next eight books I got in August from Book Outlet, and I also have that video, so I'll link that down below. But the first book is The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. It's the sequel to The Fifth Wave. Uh, so if you don't know, this series follows a number of people. I think there's four, three or four people that it follows, and it's just their struggle to survive after an alien invasion. And so I really liked the first book. I didn't really like the movie very much, but I'll have to read the first book to continue, and hopefully I can get the third book. I really want to know more about these aliens invading planet earth so i hope this is good the next book is daniel x lights out by james patterson and chris grabenstein so this is the sixth book in the series i don't know if there will be any more but i have the other books in the series i really like the series um this follows a kid named daniel x and he is an alien on planet earth and he's here to protect humans from bad aliens there's a most wanted list and each book is a new mission he kind of picks an alien on the most wanted list and goes after them and there's a big battle and he's just trying to protect humans and so i really like the series it's really creative and different and i'm really glad that i got the sixth book so i can finally finish the series the next book is the legend graphic novel by marie Lu, and it's Adapted by Leah Dragoon and illustrated by Kari or Carrie, I'm not sure how to say that. But I read the novel a long time ago and I decided I wanted to try out graphic novels. So I got this one because I saw it on Book Outlet and I read it and it was really good. I do want to get the Prodigy graphic novel. But basically it follows June and Day. June is from a family of privilege and Day is from a family that is very poor. And it's kind of like uh, martial law um, in the, I don't know if it's in the U.S., but the setting is, it's where they live. It's very ruled by the military. And there's a test you take when you become a certain age. And if you don't pass this test, you are shipped off to a labor camp. And so June is the first ever to get a perfect score on this test. She's what's known as a prodigy. Everybody's wanting her to join the military and all this stuff like her brother. And Day ends up failing the test and being shipped off to this labor camp. Well, he escapes and he becomes a vigilante. And so um, her June's brother is murdered and Day is the main suspect. And so she goes undercover to find Day and all these things happen. So it's really good. I really like it. The next book is Ripper by Stefan Petrucci. I think that's how you say it. But this book follows a kid named Carver. And he was raised in an orphanage. His mother, I think she died or I think she died, I'm pretty sure. And basically the orphanage is moving somewhere else to a nicer place. And there's three kids in this orphanage that are 14 and they are not allowed to, con to stay at the orphanage. 
So they are either adopted or they're basically thrown out on the street. And so all three of them end up getting adopted and Carver gets adopted by an ex-private investigator who used to work for Alan, Alan Pinkerton. And one of the things I really like about this book is it's a historical fiction. So Teddy Roosevelt is in it. He's the police commissioner of New York. Um, it, I believe it's based in the late 1800s. There's um, Alan Pinkerton was the um, guy who who coined private PI, private eye. Um, and so basically he is helping them find out about Jack the Ripper. He's He had murdered a bunch of women in London and they think he is in New York murdering more women. And so... It's him trying to stop Jack the Ripper. It's really good. The next book is Lockdown Escape from Furness from, by Alexander Gordon Smith. Um, so I heard about this book a long time ago from a friend. She said it was really good. And so I decided to get it since I saw it. And I will read the back to you because there's not really anything else you really need to know. It says, Go to hell, Furness Penitentiary, an underground hellhole, a place of pure evil with walls soaked in blood. Murderous gangs and vicious guards rule the darkness. Horrific creatures steal people away in the dead of night. And the impossible. Escape is the only hope. So the main character is framed for murdering his best friend and he gets sent to Furness, this jail for um, minors who commit murder. And so he's trying to survive. And it is good. I really liked it. The next book is The Marbury Lens by Andrew Smith. This book is very interesting. This kid goes to London to check out a school that his grandparents went to for, I believe, his junior year. Um, and he goes a couple of days uh, before his friend comes to join him. And while he's there alone, this man gives him these funky little glasses. And he puts them on and he's kind of transported into a different world. It's kind of like an alternate reality, but it's totally different from like this reality. And so it's just him and his friend that are discovering what this place is all about and there's a big war there and they're trying to protect these kids and they go back and forth and they're kind of going crazy. They don't know if it's real or not and so I thought it was really good. The next book is Undercurrent by Paul Blackwell. I read this book a long time ago and I saw it on Book Outlet and I decided to get it. It follows this kid named Callum and he ends up going over a waterfall and waking up from a coma in... I don't know, like an alternate reality, I guess, and he, he's like a bully, he's on the football team, his brother's in a coma, all these things are different about his life now, and he doesn't know if he's going crazy, or if everything around him is different, and he keeps getting memories that shouldn't exist, he shouldn't have these memories, and so it's him trying to figure out what's going on, and if he can fix it, and how he can live with it, and it's pretty good, I liked it. And the last book I got in August off of Book Outlet is Memory Boy by Will Weaver. This follows a family um, in a post-apocalyptic United States. They live on the East Coast. Um, two years prior, a bunch of volcanoes went off on the West Coast and there's still ash falling from the sky and they live in a big city and it's getting kind of dangerous. There's a lot of looters and people breaking into houses and killing people and so they're basically trying to get out of the city to their cabin in the woods and so it just follows them on their journey of survival. I thought it was alright. It was kind of boring for me, but I might have to read the second book to see if it gets better. The next nine books I got in September from Book Outlet, and I also have a video for that, so I'll link that below. But the first one is Tunnel Vision by Susan Adrian, and this kind of bothers me, but the dust cover is smaller than the book. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I don't know a whole lot about this book. All I know is the main character, he can pick up a personal object and kind of tunnel into that person. He knows where they are, what they're feeling, what they're doing, and basically his secret gets out and he is contacted by a government agency and they threaten his family um, that if he doesn't work with them, they're, something bad will happen. And so he ends up having to work for the government to protect his family. And so I'm really interested to read this book. So the first two books are part of a series, The Warrior Heirs Book 1 and The Wizard Heirs Book 2 by Cinda Williams Chima. So I really, really liked these. Um, I liked the second book the best. I didn't, I wasn't a huge fan of the third book and the second book was, the, the first book was not as good as the second book. But I was going to give the series another try. So this series, um, I like it because each book is in a different person's perspective. And the first book is in the perspective of Jack, who is a, wi uh, a warrior, sorry. 
And basically, he's what's known as a Werelin, and he has this stone in his chest that gives him his power. And so, he finds out that he is a warrior, and there's these two, I don't know what they are, guilds or communities that take, they basically have this big uh, game where it's two warriors battle to the death, and whichever warrior wins, you know, that guild or whatever is better. I don't know. But it's been a long time. But it basically follows him through finding out he's a warrior and having to um, uh, fight in this battle. And then the wizard heir follows a kid named Seth, who is a wizard, and he's not in control of his powers very well, and he sets a house on fire accidentally, and he gets sent to a, a private school. And at this private school, the headmaster is also a wizard who is recruiting younger wizards to increase his power. They basically do like a some kind of link where it links their powers together and the headmaster has all the power. And so he's just trying to not become linked to this headmaster because he's not a very good person. And so I really, really love the second book and I'm gonna, I'm hopefully gonna like the first book more than I did the first time. The next book is Hold Me Closer Necromancer by Alicia McBride. I really love this book. I've probably read it three or four times. Um, but it follows this kid named Sam who is a necromancer but he doesn't know it. And one day while he's at work, um, this guy comes in and he is also a necromancer and he's very powerful and well known in the magical community. They live in Seattle and there's a lot of different magical creatures in Seattle. And so um, this guy's name is Douglas and so Douglas is not very happy to know that there's another necromancer and he basically says join me or else and so Sam has to try and figure out how to keep away from this creepy guy and without losing his friends close to him and so I really liked it. The next book is Article 5 by Kristen Simmons. I don't really know much about this book other than the um, the government is very controlling and they have all these articles and they can't do very many things and it's kind of run by the military and the main girl, her mother, is arrested for um, violating Article 5 and the boy who comes to arrest his, her mother is the boy she's always had a crush on and so that's all I really know about it but it sounded really good and I hope I like it because it's a series. The next book is one that I got to complete a series that I have. It's Alex Rider Snakehead by Anthony Horowitz. I believe this is the sixth book in the series. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh book in the series. And so basically the series follows a kid named Alex Ryder and in the first book he is recruited by MI6 to become a spy because he's 14 and there are certain um, missions that they could send him on that they couldn't send an adult on because it would be they would be found out easier and so each book is a new mission and I really like the series I read it I think I read it twice and last time I read it was like four years ago I just recently read the first book but now I have all of them so I can read the whole series and I'm really excited so the next book is Lux Opposition which is the fifth book in prequel, Opposition is the fifth book, and Shadows is the prequel, in the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So this series follows a girl named Katie. She moves next door to a brother and sister who are aliens, and the series it basically just follows her and her relationship with these aliens and what role the government has in their lives, and there's a little bit of romance in it, and I really like the first two books, that's why I got this one, thinking it was the third and fourth but it's not. So I'll have to wait a little longer to finish the series, but I'm glad I have this one. The next two books are part of a series. Um, no Easy Way Out is book two, and No Dawn Without Darkness is book three. The first book is No Safety in Numbers. Um, I read the first book a while ago. It was really hard for me to get through. There was a lot of perspectives, and I don't like multiple perspectives in books, but the story was really good. Basically, it's a shopping mall that has a dirty bomb in it, and it's quarantined without quarantined with all these people inside and the first book is the first six or seven days of the quarantine and book two I believe picks up on the next day and it follows these four kids who are stuck in there some with their families some alone some were at work and so it's just their struggle to survive through this crazy um, thing that's happening to their town the next book is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I got this off of Amazon purely because of the cover. I think it's so pretty, it's really cool, and you take off the dust jacket and it's it's got more redacted things on it and 
I didn't even know what this book was about when I bought it. I just bought it because it was cool. And the way it was written, it's written in like text messages and emails and interviews. And there's perspective of the app, the AI in it. And so it follows these two kids who were boyfriend and girlfriend, but broke up like a few hours before their planet was invaded. And so they flee to these ships and they're on two separate ships. There's three ships all together with people from this planet. And it's basically their struggle to get away from the people who invaded their planet. It's over the course of, I think, six months. And so they're trying to outrun these ships to the nearest space station so they can get help. And I thought it was really good. I really want to read the next one, Gemina. And the third book is Obsidio. So I'm really excited to finish the series because it's really good. The next book I got at Barnes & Noble in Spokane when we went on our vacation. And it's Graceling by Kristen Kishore. My best friend read this series and she said it was really good. Um, each book is in a different perspective and it's not really like they go one after the other. They're kind of just in the same universe. But basically the main character in this has a thing that's called a grace and it's basically it's kind of like a superpower. She's really skilled at one thing. She's really good at killing people and she is the, the niece of the king and he kind of uses her to do his dirty work and so it sounds really good and I can't wait to read it. So the next two books I got at the dollar store. The first one is Zombie Baby by Darren Shan. I'm pretty sure this isn't the first book but I got it because it was a dollar and it's a hardcover and I saw it on Book Outlet and I was kind of interested in it and I'm not sure what it's about other than they're zombies. And the other book I got from the dollar store is Gods and Warriors The Eye of the Falcon by Michelle Paver. And I know this is the third book and I was interested in this series because it's got mythology in it and I love the Percy Jackson series. So I got this one because it was a dollar and hopefully I will get the first two books so I can read the series. The next five books I got are a box set of the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. My mom works at Target and so these books are already discounted and she gets another discount on top of it so I buy a lot of books from there. But these books are super pretty. I love the spine. It's, it's just gorgeous. I do have the original covers but they're super beat up. I don't know if you can see and I've had them for years and years. I think I've read the series five or six times. And I just really had to have this box set because it's so pretty and I love it and it came with a poster. So if you don't know what the Percy Jackson series is about, it's about Percy Jackson and he is the son of Poseidon. And each book is a different adventure with him and his friends trying to stop Kronos, who is a titan, from coming back to life and basically destroying the planet. And so it's just them trying to save the world. It's really good. I love it. Um, the next two books I got from my aunt. She gave them to me because she's at college right now and she wanted to take all of her books with her and these two she didn't want anymore. I'm not sure if I'll read them, but I'll have to keep them around for a while to see if I will. The first book is Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. So I don't really know anything about this. I saw the movie way back when it came out and I know it's about a witch or something and that's about it. So I'm not sure if I'll actually read it or not. I'll have to give it a try just because I have it, but I got this one. And then she gave me The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And I know some people will be mad at me for this, but I've never read anything by John Green. And I don't know if I will. I've seen the movie and it's heartbreaking. Um, it's about these two kids who have cancer who fall in love and it's just sad. It's very sad. And I don't know if I can suffer through the book. If I barely made it through the movie, I bawled my eyes out. But I know there's people out there who've read every book by John Green and then there's people who've read one and decided they didn't like it so I guess I'll have to try it just to see. Hopefully I like it but I'm not sure. The next book I got at the bookstore in my grandparents hometown when I was there and it's The Giver by Lois Lowry. So I already had this book but I didn't like the cover. It was I think it was the original cover and it was like this old guy's face and then like some trees and yeah I didn't really like it and it's still an old guy's face with some trees but this one is much prettier and it's a hardcover so I decided to pick it up while I was there. Um, this follows a kid named Jonas who lives in a community where it's kind of regulated very highly and it's kind of perfect. There's um, 50 people in each age group so he's a 12 year old so there's 50 12 year olds and when you turn 12 you get your job and so there's like a birth mother 
there's nurture and you don't fall in love with people because there's no such thing as love but there's also no such thing as hate they got rid of the really good stuff to get rid of the really bad stuff and have it kind of in the middle so basically he is chosen to become the receiver of memory and he goes and visits the giver and the giver gives him um basically all the memories of time you know wars and famine but then there's also good things you know like animals and rainbows and stuff like that and so Basically, he is supposed to hold these memories to um, give advice to the council when they need help with big decisions because he knows um, certain things lead to, lead to war and stuff like that. And so he is just trying to, uh, he's struggling to live with all these memories and the horrible things that can happen. But, you know, there's also good stuff. And so I think it's really good on the topic that it talks about because is war really worth like happiness and peace and all this stuff and it's really kind of where do you draw the line and so i really like this book i know it's a series there's more in it and i want to finish it but i just thought this cover was beautiful the next three books i got at my local bookstore um the first two are daniel x books daniel x watch the skies book two and daniel x demons and druids book three um, I believe in the second book he goes after the num the fifth uh, most wanted alien and then in this book I think he time travels back in time and meets Merlin who was also from Daniel's planet and was an alien hunter and so I can't remember it was a while ago but I'm really glad to have all the first six books so that I can actually reread them all so I'm super excited about that. And the next book I got from my bookstore is The Meek by J.D. Palmer. So I bought this I read the back and I thought it sounded good and I bought it and honestly I think it's my all-time favorite book that I've read this year. It's it's really good. I liked it. Um, it follows this kid named Harlan and it's basically a post-apocalyptic book. He is one of the only survivors after this virus wiped out billions and billions of people on the planet and so it's his struggle through surviving. There's good people he meets, there's bad people he meets. He meets this woman who he ends up protecting and it's just their struggle to get, he's trying to get back home. He's in California and he lives, he's from Summers, Montana, which is super cool because I live in the Flathead Valley and Summers is here and so I know where it is and that's one of the reasons I was super interested in it because the author's from here too. So I really, really enjoyed this book. It was amazing. I recommend it. Um, the only thing I'll say is there's lots of violence and language and there's some rape, but other than that, it was amazing. It was it was so amazing. I love this book so much. I want I want there to be more. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a trilogy, but it just came out, so I don't know what's going to happen, but it is amazing. Um, and I'm pretty sure the rest of these books I got at the thrift store or at the used bookstore. So the first book is Eighth Grade Bites, the first book in the Chronicles of Vladimir Todd by Heather Brewer. I believe that's her name. Yeah, Heather Brewer. So I have this book, it's right here, but it's two books in one, and it's this book from The Chronicles of Vladimir Todd and the first book of the Slayer series. But I saw this at the bookstore, it was less than a dollar, and I decided to get it because it's not as intimidating as the first one, where there's it's like huge. So the first book of the other series is really big, but yeah, and I got this to complete the series, I'm really glad about that. So basically this series follows a kid named Vladimir Todd, and he is a half vampire, half human, and this first book is him uh, finding out about this secret vampire community across the world and about his family because his parents died three years prior. He was raised by his aunt and also his struggle through middle school into high school and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty good. I like it. The next book is The Nine Lives of Chloe King by Liz Braswell. So this is three books and I'm not sure if it is a trilogy or if there's more books. But I've seen the TV show and I thought it was good. There was only one season. And I read the first two books and half the third and then I got bored so I stopped. But it was less than a dollar at the bookstore and I decided to pick it up. Hopefully I can finish the books this time. Basically it follows this uh, girl named Chloe King and she's some kind of um, part cat. I don't know. She's not cat woman but she's part human and part cat and there's a community of these people and she doesn't know anything about it but she's like this prophesied um prophet i don't know what she is she's very special she actually has nine lives unlike the rest of her kind and so she's like some kind of leader or something 
I can't really remember, but I remember liking the show, so I got the books. The next two books are part, the first four books in the Wicked series. There's two books in each one by Nancy Holder and Debbie Vigiu or Vigai. Um, the first books are Witch and Curse. The, the third and fourth are Legacy and Spellbound. I got these both at the, actually I think I got this one at the thrift store and this one at the bookstore. All I know about these series is it has something to do with witches. Um, I don't read a lot of books about witches. I remember I read the Twitches series a long time ago. But I'm trying to expand my reading. I pretty much stick exclusively to sci-fi and fantasy. Sometimes I venture into Supernatural. The Chronicles of Nick up there is a Supernatural series, but I wanted to expand on that, so I got these two. Hopefully they're good. The next book is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. So I already had this book, but I had it in paperback, and I had the second and third book in hardcover. So when I saw this at the bookstore, I got it. I was super excited because I've been looking for it for a while um, by Suzanne Collins. But if you don't know what this story is about, it's about this girl named Katniss, and she lives, um, it's a dystopian world. She lives in this place called Sector 13. There's, or Sector 12, there's used to be 13 sectors, but 13 got blown up. And basically every year, two kids, a boy and a girl, from each sector enter into the Hunger Games and they battle to the death and only one person can live at the end and so then they become a champion and so it follows Katniss and her um, other uh, companion or whatever he is, PETA, through their um, survival of the Hunger Games. So the next four books in my haul are the first four books in the series of Unfortunate Events. My aunt owns this, owns this series, so I have read them before, but I wanted to own them and reread them. And so the first book is the oh, first book is the Bad Beginning. Book two is the Reptile Room. Book three is the Wide Window, and book four is the Miserable Mill. So here's all the all the covers. But this series follows three siblings, uh, Violet, Klaus, and Sunny Baudelaire, and they are orphans. Their parents were killed in a house fire. And each book is a different kind of like foster family that they move in with. And the first foster family, the foster parent that they have is Count Olaf and he's really after their fortune. And so he, they're taken away from him and they continue into each new foster home and Count Olaf constantly pursues them because he wants their fortune. Um, I really liked the movie and the TV show. Um, the TV show is way more accurate than the movie, but I still like the movie. And so I'm glad to have these. The next book is the first two books in the Unseen series by Richie Tankersley Cusick. I think that's how you say it. it um, the first book is It Begins and the second book is Rest in Peace. The only thing I know about this series is it's about werewolves and I've never read a series focused on werewolves before. I've read some where there is a werewolf in it, but I'm really interested because I really like the show Teen Wolf. So I don't know if it'll be anything like that, but I'm kind of interested to find out. The next book is The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima. It's the first book in the Seven Realms series. I don't know anything about this book at all. I only picked it up because it's by Cinda Williams Chima and I wanted to read more by her. So hopefully I enjoy the series and then I'll get the next books. The next book I got is the first book in the Bartimus trilogy, The Amulet of Samar. Samarkand by Jonathan Stroud. I don't know much about this book except that there's wizards in it and the main character is a kid and he... I I don't know really anything about it but <laughs> I saw it at the thrift store for $2.50 and decided to try it out because the cover's kind of cool. I really like this little amulet thing on there. So yeah, hopefully I enjoy this. So the next book I got is uh, Cherub Mission 3 Maximum Security by Robert Muchamore. So this is the third book and I've never read the series before so I have to get the first and second one first but it was 250. Um, it makes me think of the Alex Ryder series. They're um, basically kid spies or something like that and they are inserted into certain places to collect information. I believe this one somebody goes to a prison to talk to this kid. But it sounded really interesting, so hopefully I can get a hold of the first and second book to start the series. The next book I got was at the thrift store. It's called The Prophecy of the Sisters by Michelle Zink. 
I'll read the back because I don't know anything. Without the keys, something terrible will happen, something to no that cannot be undone. And with them, I might bring an end to the riddle of the prophecy and my strange part in it. If Alice and I are on conflicting sides of the prophecy, the keys will be dangerous in her hands, which means I have to find them. I have to find them before my sister. So I thought this sounded interesting. I'm trying to get a little bit into spooky books because it's almost October. I started reading Intensity by Dean Koontz. And um, this one kind of seems a little spooky, so hopefully you enjoy it. So the next book I got is Icons by Margaret Stoll. She co-authored the Beautiful Creature series. So if I like this, I might have to read the Beautiful Creature series. Um, but I'm not sure what it's about. I think there's some kind of alien invasion. There was a big war that Earth didn't know was fighting and ended up losing. A bunch of people died. And so it follows four kids who are kind of uh, trapped by whoever won the war. And they're trying to escape and they learn some secrets. So I thought it sounded interesting. And the final two books that I got are Only the Good Spy Young and I Tell You I Love You But Then I'd Have to Kill You by Allie Carter. So I know one of these is the first book, but I'm not sure which. Um, and then the other one's like the fourth book. But my best friend read this series and she loved it. Um, it's, I think it's kind of, they are, they, it's a prep school for girls where they're taught to be kind of like CIA agents or something. So I thought it sounded really good, and the main character is named Cammie Morgan, which my name is, my first name is Morgan, so that's kind of cool. But I thought it sounded interesting, and my friend liked them, so I picked them up because they were a dollar each. So that's it for my huge book haul of over 50 books. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was great. I'm so excited to read these books. I love to collect books. I'm so excited. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!